perfect. Let's talk about DeSantis and see where we're uh, where we're heading in this country. Oh, yeah. DeSantis defends math textbook rejection as Dems seek proof of critical race theory lessons. Florida Education Department officials have not yet provided examples from the textbook textbooks deemed impermiss- impermissible, but on Monday released the list of books that failed to make the cut. So apparently, DeSantis defended it. We want kids to learn to think so they get the right answer, DeSantis told reporters. The Florida Department of Education on Friday rejected some 54 math books from state classrooms, a move that drew national attention when DeSantis claimed the proposals from publishing companies contained lessons on indoctrinating concepts like race essentialism. The move was just the latest example of Republicans, including DeSantis, scrutinizing what students are learning, blah, blah. Okay, here's the question. If the math books don't have critical race theory in them, why are they bent out of shape? They're getting removed. Hmm. If it's just a math book where it's like two plus two is four, then why, why, why would they be mad about that? They'd be like, oh, I guess, there, do we still have a math book that says two plus two equals four? Then why do we care if you remove that one? This is really interesting because it is possible that they're not actually teaching critical race theory. Oh, hold on, let me turn myself up. Um, and what they're doing is teaching a form of praxis, which is where critical theory isn't everything. It doesn't have to be explicit. It underlies everything. I've seen some of these math problems. I think it was Matt Walsh earlier today who was reading some of these questions about Maya Angelou and all the stuff that went in on in her life, all this racism she stood up to. It's a math problem. You're supposed to be solving X and Y and A and B and all this stuff. But they're rolling into it all these ideas so that they can say, we're not teaching critical race theory. This is praxis. We've talked about this before. This is critical race applied principles. Right. So an, an example would be those old math problems where it's like a train leaves Detroit right. traveling 500 miles an hour and a train leaves Pittsburgh traveling at 50 miles an hour and blah, blah, blah. And then, um, you know, that's a math problem. What they're doing in these is they're like, Johnny is a young white man who's 15, <laughs> year, 15 years old and he gets stopped by the police three times in one month. But Jerome is a young black man who gets stopped by the police 2,000 times in one month. Mm-hmm. What percentage of stops were... And then you're like, okay, we get it. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I, I honestly think, it, if anything, it doesn't go far enough. I, we, as far as DeSantis's move here, uh, I had to go pick up one of my kids from... I have one kid in public school and the rest of mine are homeschooled, but uh, I had to go pick her up. And there was a, a class, the kids must have been maybe seven years old. And all across the wall is the, you know, rainbow flags and uh, trans flag. Now, nothing said, you know, anything about, but but the coloring is all the right coloring, you know, and there's like the little sneaky words, you know, like sharing is caring, like Care Bears type stuff. And this is in a tiny town in, in Idaho, in the mountains of Idaho. I mean, tiny. That's so it's everywhere and it's it's like being pumped into these kids brains i actually think like that's why colors are so important you know kids like latch on to that stuff and it's very visually appealing for them so when it's broadcast in their faces all the time you don't have to have an explicit message in there the message is like in the image i still remember an image like in fourth grade on my wall of the of a horn like a trumpet playing music and it showed the sound waves coming out like this like round uh, sorry if you're listening you're not able to see but then then the teacher came in one day was like actually the sound waves are actually like this and they changed the image of to a sine wave Mm -hmm. and that was that sticks with me to today that was like 35 years ago or something crazy yeah. Imagery is the most one of the most powerful ways to teach a child anything. Sound, imagery, smell, those kind of things. Yeah, sensory stuff. 